Hello everyone. This is part three of the Hastashilpa Heritage Village Museum. We are at the Batkal Navyet Muslim House. Batkal is a town in Karnataka that has a large population of Muslims known as Navyet Muslims, all residing in a major pocket of the town. They are mostly in the field of trade and business, having shops and establishments in the older part of the town. The Navyat Muslim house was built about 215 years ago. Sri Vijaynath Chenoy, a banker by profession, was passionate about heritage and culture that he started hunting every nook and corner to collect discarded ancient pieces. He started this project at the age of 60 and in 2017 passed away after successfully restoring 17 ancestral homes from Karnataka, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh with Karnataka-style architecture, along with priceless artifacts and collections from the bygone era. A visit to the Hastashilpa Heritage Village Museum takes you back in time. Those born in the 80s have probably never seen many of these items. Vijayanath Chanoi's vision to preserve a culture and his efforts towards a heritage village have come to fruition after a considerable amount of time. The younger generation can identify themselves with their roots and connect with their cultures. This Navyath house facade has the typical wooden seats overseeing the streetscape. This recreation of marketplace of early years includes shops like Dove Repair, Cycle Repair, Ayurvedic Medicine Shop, The Cobbler, Barber Shop or Salon, Mats Used to Dry Paddy, Typewriters and Cyclo Styling Machine, Tailor Shop, Laundry and Ironing Shop. A porter shop, gas lights, clock and watch repair shop, glass bangles, kerosene lamp. Water frame repair shop, nostalgic design loss, the goldsmiths, fine art shop, agricultural equipment, knife sharpeners shop, elementary school started by Basel missionaries. Handloom Weaver's Shop The Harihara Mandir or temple dating 1216 was built to house Lord Shiva, Goddess Parvati and Lord Vishnu. The intricate wooden carvings on roofs and main doors of the Sanctum Sanctorum are based on the mythological stories of Shiva Puranam and Vishnu Puranam.
Next stop is the Manipal University campus. This campus is really beautiful. I heard that the Museum of Anatomy and Pathology is open to public. So I'm off to see the MAP. So much for videography because I was told that it was not allowed. So next stop was Father Muller Medical College, Church or Chapel. Church is quite beautiful. This is the Our Lady of Fatima Church, Perambali Udbi. It's about two kilometers from the educational hub Manipal. On the left side of the great entrance, a grotto of the miraculous statue of Mother Mary was built. Next to the grotto, you can see the Tower of Peace, blessed by the Most Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, Bishop of Belgaum. The original church was declared an independent church on October 7, 1958. This newly built church was inaugurated and blessed in November 2017. It now stands majestically replacing the old church. The wood carvings on the door and its frame are really beautiful. Parishioners of this church at Perambali are basically agriculturists. In front of the Fatima Mata Sabha Bhavan, there's the Our Lady of Fatima Grotto. The beautiful statue of Our Lady of Fatima was brought from Israel and blessed and installed at Our Lady of Fatima Church in 2017. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you for watching.